This month, a Lancaster County family has given News 8 full access, sharing intimate details on how addiction broke apart their family and how they're still healing today. They want you to know what happened to them in hopes of saving someone else. They spoke with News 8's Caitlin Smith. Anthony Perez grew up in a blended family, but one that blended well. His mom stayed home with him. His stepdad, who raised him since he was one, coached him in soccer. Anthony was a pretty amazing kid. He had an older brother, and when he was five, got a younger one. He was set up to have, quote unquote, the perfect childhood. We had thought we had done everything right. So how did we get to this point? Sometimes bittersweet. You know, we take a look at a photograph and, you know, we think, wow, you know, there should be so many more mem memories coming at this point, and it's disappointing that they're not. When Anthony was about 15, his mom found cocaine in his room and later learned he was addicted to heroin as well. Now we took him to rehab. He was in counseling. He was on antidepressants. Um, but it was like a war zone here. There were times when I had to be face to face with Stacy and Anthony at times, nose to nose, because I felt like if I wasn't there, somebody was going to get hurt. I just couldn't understand why he didn't just stop. Just be a good kid and, and quit doing it. Anthony never quit, and perhaps because of that, Steve quit the marriage. After 15 years, he asked for a divorce. I told her that it was too much for me. Um, I couldn't stand being in the household while everything was going on. I couldn't stand being a part of the chaos that was going on, and I couldn't stand being a part of the arguments that were going on. You know, I felt abandoned. I felt like I was being left to try and deal with everything by myself. Over time, Stacy and Steve learned to be friends and continued to support each other, but whether apart or working together, nothing they did could stop Anthony's addiction. And seven years after their divorce in 2014, Anthony overdosed. It's terrible. It has the ability to undermine those things that you uh, truly love. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8.